major factor in a product's success lies in its ability to meet user expectations and provide a pleasant user experience. In UX design, one of the ways to ensure this is by creating a UX persona. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. UX personas are an important tool for product and design professionals. Today we will talk about what they are, what types of UX personas you can use, and how to create one. A UX persona is a richly detailed fictional character that embodies attributes, needs, and behaviors of an actual target user group. It is a beacon for UX designers guiding them in creating experiences that resonate with users. UX personas ensure every design detail is grounded in genuine user insights, leading to intuitive and meaningful interactions. The specific value of UX personas lies in their ability to bring user data to life. They help transform numbers and trends into humanized characters that are easier to relate to. Thus, they inform and inspire user-centered design decisions, leading to higher relevance, usability, and overall impact of the final product. A typical UX persona includes a character's name, demographics, goals, and motivations relevant to the product. It focuses on patterns and habits that highlight how the persona interacts with a similar product and what common challenges it encounters during the interaction. A UX persona also encompasses likes, dislikes, values, and interests affecting how the persona perceives and interacts with the product. Before we move on to creating a UX persona, let's discuss UX persona types. The first type is a proto-persona. They are created without preceding user research and are based on assumptions about target users. However, assumptions used for proto-personas must be carefully analyzed and validated. To do so, use assumption mapping followed by thorough user research. To learn more about assumption mapping, check out our video. The link is in the description. The second type of UX persona is an end user persona. These personas are developed based on thorough user research, such as user interviews and quantitative studies, and represents the primary audience for the product. The last type of a UX persona is an edge persona. It represents target users with unique or uncommon behavioral patterns compared to the typical user. They are used to explore the boundaries of the product's user experience, ensuring inclusivity and accessibility. Creating a UX persona starts with user research. This can include user interviews, surveys, screen recordings, and analyzing existing data like analytics or support tickets. The goal is to gather relevant insights into target users' behavior and preferences. After you've gathered the data, identify patterns and commonalities among users' behavior. This analysis is the core of your UX persona. If needed, you can also divide users' interactions into groups to form several personas for one product. However, don't create too many. Four personas should be the maximum, with one being a priority. Now draft a persona. You can use a digital template or create one on paper. To make it more relatable, you include a name, photo, and some user quotes that represent the person you are describing. For UX personas, it is also vital to create the context and scenarios of how they would use the product or service. Think of specific interaction points a persona would have with your product and what needs and frustrations come into play. Once ready, ensure the persona is documented and every team member has easy access to it. And remember, UX personas can evolve. Make sure to update your UX persona based on the most current user research so it remains relevant and useful. There we go. UX personas are a great way to ensure more user-centered designs and better user experience. So they are a wonderful addition to a UX designer's toolkit. If you want to learn more about creating top-notch user experiences, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.